Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. All right, jabronis, let's get this party started. Finally, some actual Fire Emblem gameplay. Valley of Torment, perhaps a good place to finish off my life as a knight. Only if that puny force of children is able to kill me, of course. That man who raises the lion's flag? Lord Gwendol. He's an elder knight who serves House Roe. Gwendol would, without a doubt, fight any battle if ordered. There is no chance of negotiating with him. Great. So I won't. Watch out for fire. Great. Ah, oh, shit, I missed some Dimitri being sad. Ah, oh, well, whatevs. Let's have Dimitri roll up and Felix roll up. We'll have the foot crew take the longest path, but they do have Annette, so that should be okay. They also have Manuela, which is interesting. I had not considered uh, using Manuel's warp ability here. But that's something I should consider, shouldn't I? I'll equip the sword. We'll dance Demito. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to dance the modem. Dance the modem. Very good. Have him move to here. Equip the fucking crescent sickle because it's radical. While everyone else gets to roll north. Boop. God, I don't like the perspective on this sometimes. Do wish that I could tell. Really more... I mean, I can. No. I don't know if grid would even help in that case. Where the fuck is grid? There. Yeah, just because they're flying above it, so I wasn't really sure whether they were on this square or this square. They look similar. Shwedevs. Uh, Sylwain. Roll up here. Have a Yavelin to force them to attack at range 3, unless they want to get counterattacked, which would be a little hilarious, but I doubt that's going to happen. You also could have a Yavelin, and Merchetes will be grass. Well done. Alright, let's have them break themselves against me. I'm excited to not be playing in maddening mode, where I can just throw my people into the fray and probably come out okay. Yes! Kill, Reaper! Slay! Slay my king. <laughs> slay king. Yes, king, slay. There we go. I did it. Jesus Christ, that silver axe was, was fucking fitting to do a ton of damage. 23? God damn! What an amazing level! Just, just like, just the basics. Just the basic good shit that every person wants. And, and, and they did provide. Are there even any spellcasters on this map? No? None. One. There's a spellcaster. Alright. Fun. Fun stuff, man. Just, uh... Nothing to do for people with high resistance, I guess. Just no no utility for them whatsoever. Well, that's fine. It's not like I uh, have any people with high resistance or anything like that. Ash, Leone. Alright. Let's have... Let's check a Ruski this Bowman's... This Bowman's range. Boom, boom on the range. A bolt axe. That's radical. All right, and let's pull back out to here. We'll have Leoni roll up into here. Attack with axe, deleting the man. Oh, I think he was just an archer, so it's not that impressive. Oh shit, my fucking convoy is full. My whole convoy? No! I like having items. Ah, oh, dang, I gotta go through that shit, don't I? Again. Alright, alright. That's that's a problem for another time. Uh, Morch, Morch Des, you're 31. That puts you... It looks like... Oh, Felix... Well, Felix is gonna kill those archers. So we'll have Morch Des roll up and slay this... Or at least put the herd on this archer. And then have Timberly uh, roll up and put the finish on the archer? Nah, we'll just have her punch this knight to death. Because it's fun. I love to punch armored knights to death. Now Felix can roll up and do a patwang. Yes, patwang him completely unto death. And he is patwanged. Annette 
will come up and go past him and dance for him. So that Felix... Ooh, don't really want to put him right there on the front lines. Though, he's just not tanky enough for it. Especially if he keeps taking those hits like he did against the Archer. Man, will I and roll up and do a heal? Yeah, that'll do. And Demito... Demito will roll past and just chuck his littler spear, his less emotional spear, at that guy. Now for horse friends. Let's get some horse kills. Yes, that is what I want. A chess key? What the fuck? So the, oh, because the chess keys are stackable. Silly me, of course they are. I've been thinking that I have to throw away a chess key. How silly indeed. Ooh, really should have sent the horses this way, huh? There's a lot more flame terrain straight north than there is uh, west and then north. But, who gives a shit? That's, uh, that's my motto. We need a 30 and a 31. Yeah, ooh, Mercedes can. And Mercedes shall. God, her speed. Why her speed's so bad? Her speed no can kill any of it. Can no kill none of them. Okay, well, she can crit then. You know, that's fine. It's just not exactly what I would want as a result to get from that. Uh, Ash, can you roll up? How do you do against this archer specifically? Oh, you murder him. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, let's get rid of that range and get in this range. All right, so you can go here, tomahawk that archer to death, and then fall back, right? Right? Okay, thank goodness. So we can keep having our flyers head north for just a smidge before they have to bank left, bank west. Yeah, yeah, they make it feel almost like a strategy of some kind. Almost like a strategy of some kind. Ooh, let's have our foot people charge forward. Uh, Felix Navidad needs to be healed. But let's have him go shoot this horse until dead. Very well done. Get strength and speed, buddy. Okay, I'll take one of the two. I'll take. Really would appreciate the double. Just, I would appreciate it, buddy. I know you're listening. Maybe next time, okay? Maybe next time. Uh, main will, uh, shall heal. Yes. Should I be just be warping people ahead, though? I mean, it's not like I'm trying to get some fucking crazy objective. Yeah, just fucking, just keep doing what you're doing, people. You're doing great at it. Oh no, this, the man is simply too armored. He is simply too armored. Well, let's... Why did I fucking use curve shot? Is it because I'm stupid? That's the only conceivable answer. Uh, let's have our horse friends roll north. To assist our wyvern friends. So that they can break west more easily. Pa twang twang. Man, if I didn't use Curve Shot, that mother effer would be dead. They'd be a corpse instead of a living body like they are right now. Much prefer my enemies to be corpses instead of living, breathing human bodies. It's just, just not as great for me, you know? Pretty good, Ash. That'll soften them up for our relatively weak horse friends. That's hilarious. Thank you, Manuela. Uh, let's have Leone roll up and... Yes, throw an axe. What the f fuck was that lag? Why did it... Why was there slow down there? That was bizarre. Like, I pressed it and it just kind of hung for a little bit. It's so rare that you see a Nintendo product just like... It's For me, it's like either a Nintendo game will just fucking crash, sometimes, or be functionally perfect. <laughs> I've never seen it just be like, oh yeah, oh it's struggling. 
on the hardware. Whoa, whoa. They're just like, oh yeah, we'll polish it and then we'll downgrade the graphics until it runs fast and looks as good as it can. Interesting. Good job, buddies. Keep rolling north so you can get to this little part, maybe. Uh, down here, we're going to have Mercedes roll up and incinerate a knight. One of the only things that she can actually fucking double attack. Felix, roll up to here. Murder Archer. Annette will dance for Merchetta's. Demito rolls up. Does not get a kill where I would want him to have gotten a kill, but whatever. Uh, Merchetta's can attack from here, killing that friend, which means I would have been better advised to do something more like this, where I roll up with Merchetta's, delete the knight with flames, she gets a level, maybe she'll get speed, ha ha ha. Fucking stupid, a dumb game for idiot people, that's me. Uh, by warping... Demito right next to that knight so that he can murder it without having to use his stupid little short spear. Instead, he can use his dope emo sickle or his fucking what is it, knight kneeler, but that's against a horse. That's against a horse. Uh, he could use the brave lance, but that's, that's almost too much murder. Uh, killer lance is pretty likely to kill with that crit. Fuck it. Let's use three uses, or just one use, of the Brave Lance, and we crit for a very, very nice number indeed. I am here for it. Alright. Timberly rolls up and heals. Doing that thing that Timberly do, which is just kind of exist and help. Good job, Leone. And good job, Leone. Oh, F you. Having physic. Oh, shit. Here we go. Attack them from both sides. Yeah, man. What is that? A paladin? Yeah, you really fucking, uh... Really got me with two paladins, huh? Damn. I never thought the day would come where you would hit me with... Not one. But two paladins. <laughs> not one. Not two. Wait, just two paladins. Level 30. Not super uh, fear-inspiring, ladies and jelly spoons. What do you What do you even do? Though you are right next to me, and that's that's kind of fun for me. That means I can do little fun shits like uh, punching a paladin to death, which it do feel good considering that they're supposed to be like knights of the realm. But if you just roll up to them and uh, deck them a couple times with strong enough arms, they'll go down just like anyone else. Oh, Burke Caber. Uh, let's have Demampo. Ooh, let's have... We, so we can have Felix. Use, like, the silver bow. Uh, he just can't. He can't, can he? Not even, like, with longbow. One, two, three. He could totally fucking hit... That longbowman. Or that sniper. Right? Because he is a sniper. So he's got the range. Why can't he not hit that guy even with combat art? Oh, he only has a plus one combat art thing? Huh. Alright. Y'all seeing this, right? Wait, 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 no. No, I am wrong. I'm the wrong one. I'm sorry. I never meant to be wrong, but sometimes it just happens. I, I don't know what to do. Uh, let's have a net roll up and dance for Tim. And then we'll have Manuela warp Tim. Boo doo, boo doo, boo boo. Warp me. Yes. Go. Very strong. Very powerful. Uh, Merchetes can roll to here. And one shot this archer. He's dead. And then I can punch this knight to death. 
in another very satisfying experience. Even though it probably would have been more efficient for me to use a sword, because that's what I'm fucking grinding up. Uh, on the other hand, who farted? Who gives a shit? Not me. Yeah, take him out. Now we're all over here. Oh, Jimbus. Let's roll over here, bud. We'll get you that chest next turn, huh? Yeah. Uh, cleave his skull inside out. Very powerful, very beautiful. That's Leone. I fly over here to support the foot crew. Oof. Here they fucking come, huh? Yes, they charge forth. To inside my attack range. Whatever shall it- Oh, hey, shit, there's Rodrigue. They did have someone come. So Cornelia has planted spies even inside Garrick Mach. The shield of Fargus has appeared. We can expect more out of him than the young ones. Uh, so now we get a defeat condition if Rodrigue falls. Rodrigue. I'll say it differently every time and then I'll correct myself to whatever I didn't say. Nope. Yeah, how, how you doing, Rodrigue? Wow. Oh, that's right, you're a holy knight. I was like, what the fuck, you have aura? That's so wild that... Felix's dad is a magic user on a horse. I mean, it's cool. It's certainly cool. It's just weird to me. Normally, people are like, oh yeah, well, are they though? I guess Hector has Lilina, and she's very different than Hector mechanically. Just because she uses magic rather than axes. Though she is similar to him in stats, I guess, because they're both just kind of slow nukes. What the fuck? Why... Why the fuck is my cursor speed weird? Okay. Uh, sorry. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six enemies left. Seven, if you if you cloud those two up there, which... I mean, we might as well not. We might as well just kill the commander while we're here. Let's just figure out who we could kill the commander with. Excuse me. Uh, can Felix kill Lord Hambone? Uh, no. Not by himself, at least. But, with Manuela doing silence, fuck. What even should she do? Yeah, just have her use silence. Fuck it. She gets some experience out of it, I guess. Uh, Demito. Ooh, I kind of want to use Demito. Yeah, he'll kill him. Alright. So we'll have Ash. Fill up to here. Open chest. A silver shield. Alright. Let's get rid of that training lance. We don't need that shit anymore. Leone. Let's have you get a kill of someone, huh? Let's have you cleave this man and his horse. Yeah! I saw a miss and I got... I got scared. I got afraided. That's not exactly what I'd want from you, Leone, but... At the same time, whatever. Seteth, that was a miserable level up, and uh, every time you do something poorly, it cements the idea in my head that I should never use you in any of my playthroughs ever. Me! Let's use sword this time. As uh, I'm sure people have been like, well, if you're going to trade with, train with swords, you should ever use swords so you can get the more sword experience. Yes, I know everyone's so complaining. No, everyone... Everyone who's ever commented on my videos has been pretty fucking nice about it, and no one's more appreciative than I am. No one is more appreciative than I am. I dare you to find someone else who is anywhere near as appreciative as I am of the, the few comments that I get that are very nice and polite or informative. No one's ever like, you're a dipshit. Why did you do this? Sometimes I will get gently chided, like when I fought that fucking Onyx in Pokemon Shield. And Ellie was like, what are you doing? How did you get so lucky to survive this? Etc. When it was fucking like 13 levels higher than you and it just never attacked. You should not have done this. You got through it. You should not have done this. That's as, quote, bad, unquote, as it gets. And that's not bad. I, that just made me laugh. I went, yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. Why am I talking about this? Who gives a shunt? Uh, okay. Yeah, it's gotta be the... Ooh, we've got Knight Kneeler, but... Looks like that's either not doing super effective damage? 
Yeah, it's not doing super effective damage against him. He's not knight. He's great knight. He's just horse. He's horse and armored. So why... Like, why not? That seems like a... It's effective against horse. Maybe it has to be effective against both? Maybe now it's both and can't just be super effective against one? That'd be interesting. And irritating. The man praised as a lion is degraded to a mere traitor's underling. A traitor's underling? That's upsetting, your highness. I am and have always been a knight of house row. How dare you? You're nothing but a lowly beast scavenging for scraps. You've forgotten the dignity of knighthood. I may be lowly, but this beast is devoted to his master. Huh. Then I'd better kill the pet and deliver his head to that master. Damn. Doesn't even let him get an attack off. Just fucking crits him with the Brave Lance. Cold-blooded, Dimitri. Ah, so I've found a place to die. Young ones, I thank you. Jesus. Grim. Grim shit. Finding a place to die. Okay, Dimitri, so you had to get the bare necessities last level and then none of them this level. Alright, that's fine. That's fine, it's great. With each kill, more monstrous. Yeah. Yeah, that was a lot. It is the way of knights to follow their master's orders without argument. Lord Gwendol was a good man. Now he's just a corpse, nothing more. Let's go. Rodriguez waiting for us. Or Rodriguez. Uh, not even I know how to pronounce it. <clears throat> oh, God. The burp's still coming. They aren't stopping coming. Hit the ground running. Smash mouth. Oh, God. Between Dimitri and Felix and Aloise. I'm going to lose my voice for the Ding Dang Holidays. I'm not even going to have a voice when I'm unwrapping my Christmas gifts. It's been too long, Your Highness. But try to temper your joy, will you? This is a war, after all. To say such a thing at a time like this. You've not changed one bit. Don't let looks deceive you. I've had a rough go of it ever since I crossed blades with those traitors in Firdiad. When I'd heard you'd been executed, I rushed there as fast as I could, blind with fury. When I got there, I was fed some garbage about not being able to see your body. The last thing I knew, I was gripping my blade and... Gilbert, you've done well to locate His Highness. I am truly grateful. And you, I have you to thank as well. Uh, as is prof it, we were all very lucky. Well, we are in your debt. I will repay you for this someday, I swear it. And you, Felix. You've also done well to bring his highness here. Uh. Tell us all you know, Rodrigue. Rodrigue. Whichever the fuck one it is. Come on, you got... Please tell me. I'm afraid there's not much to tell. You're aware that the western region of the kingdom was taken by the Empire, correct? Yes, so I have heard. They're now calling it the Fargus Dukedom or some nonsense. If you know that much, then the rest won't take long. Enemy or not, it's undeniable that Cornelia's plan was nothing so short of genius. After seizing power, she invited the Imperial Army to Ferdiad. There, she reorganized her troops, then sent soldiers to hunt me down. Because of that, we were forced to act defensively. And now we're being forced into a difficult battle. She's been controlling the situation all along. So that's been the witch's plan from the start. I should have killed her ages ago. Your Highness, Ferdiad is in a terrible state right now. The tyranny is unbearable, and so the rebellions are endless. Refugees starve to death in the streets. If I may speak freely, Your Highness, we should change course for Ferdiad and take down those traitors before we embark to Enbar. There's no time for that. We must annihilate Enbar before all else. Think this through. I understand wanting to destroy the Empire and the Emperor. I want that so much it hurts. But which is more important, the dead or the living? Silence! No, Dimitri. You will hear me out. Are you asking me, asking the dead, to forgive that woman? No, I would not ask that of you. What I am asking is that you allow us to prioritize the kingdom capital over the imperial capital for now. As Lambert's close and trusted friend, I am confident that he would have advised the same. Do not dare to put your words in the mouths of the dead. They are your words alone, even if you borrow their lips. Until I offer up that woman's head, father will remain a slave to his lingering regret and hatred. Even now he suffers. It's ceaseless. As we waste time with idle chatter, chatter his suffering continues. Uh, you are my king. Our king. Wherever you lead, we will follow. But your highness, 
There are those who take up their sword in the name of revenge, and yet along the way lose the strength and composure to follow through. You would do well to bear that in mind. <sighs> ah, I nearly forgot. Take this, your highness. The time has come for it to be wielded by its true master. Aradbar. The hero's relic once wielded by my father. It looks like a, a weird hand. Ugh. The very same. Managed to steal it back from one of Cornelia's underlings in Ferdiad. Understated as ever, father. Must have been a true struggle to get it back. I... I'm grateful, my friend. Gilbert, Professor, may I request something of you? I wish to fight at your side. Seen I already, old man. Who'll protect our territory? I expected it would come to this, so I left those matters to my younger brother. He has my complete faith. I must keep my promise to our fallen king. To my dear friend. What promise? A very old one. I swore it nearly ten years ago. But I will tell you about it now. Now then, your highness. Let's destroy the empire together. My men and I will spare no effort. I pray that you are right. And that this will save the kingdom. Hmm. Hmm. Do, does that mean we get fucking... Does that mean we get... Rodriguez? Rodriguez? Rodrig Rodriguez? Then we get him on our artisity team? That would be cool. Our orders are to capture Enbar by striking the enemy stronghold directly. How familiar are you with the geography of Odlin? Very familiar. I've played this game multiple times. And you must be aware that the kingdom and the empire are separated by the impassable Ogma Mountains, right? Yes. Legend has it that Saint Seros once crossed over those mountains to fight against the fell king Nemesis. But don't fool yourself. Leading a large army over such steep mountains would be near impossible. In order to infiltrate the Empire, we have no choice but to go around the mountains, either to the east or to the west. Uh, let's go east, through the Leicester Alliance, so we can reuse the same fucking maps over and over again, huh? Yes, I agree. The Alliance is currently split in two. Those who stand with the Empire and those who are against it. Leading the Imperial faction is House Gloucester, while House Regan leads those who oppose. We should take advantage of their internal conflict and proceed east along the mountains until we reach the Great Bridge of Myrden in Alliance territory. Uh, why there? You think it's because it's the Aramid River? Is it the big bridge that crosses it? Wow. The Aramid River divides Alliance and Empire territory. There are many large bridges that cross it. However, the Great Bridge of Myrden is by far the largest, and it's also closest to the monastery. So we don't have to walk as far. I believe you crossed that bridge five years ago, on your journey to the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Hmm. What if the Empire and the Alliance both attack? Like at some kind of new Battle of Eagle and Lion. How crazy would that be? I'm afraid it's a possibility, but it's still more practical than passing through the West. Perhaps our next move should be to contact House Regan and request their cooperation. Uh, do you think they'll help us? Claude of House Regan is the leader of the Alliance and is firmly against the Empire. They are the enemy of our enemy. In other words, hopefully, a friend. Are you suggesting that we ask House Regan to engage the Gloucester soldiers? I am. Even though I wasn't the one who brought it up. What the fuck? If we take the bridge, then House Gloucester will no longer be able to receive support from the Empire. There's no way a man as wise as Claude could would refuse our request. And once we manage to capture the Great Bridge and gain a foothold into the Empire, then we cross Grander Field and head south toward Enbar. But if we get attacked from both sides, we'll have to fight people from the Alliance, won't we? Not that that'll ever happen. Ha 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 ha. Of course, if we get blocked in by the Alliance, we'll have to fight our way out. That means you'll have to cross blades with your old schoolmates. If you do not wish to kill familiar faces, do not tarry over the corpses of the dead. Huh. Good advice. Prepare yourself. It's time to steal your souls for the task at hand. Damn. Yikes. You know, when fucking Shadow the Hedgehog says you have good advice, then maybe your advice is uh, not that great, Demito. Or Felix, whenever you find yourself agreeing with Dimitri, maybe that means that you aren't great. The rose-colored river. Why is it rose-colored? Is it because of the blood? Oh, I bet it's because we're going to fill it with blood. Oh, let's see a medieval painting first. The kingdom meets with Rodrigue, Rodrigue in Aileo, Aileo, the Valley of Torment. With the strength of House Fraldarius on their side, the time to invade the Empire is finally at hand. 
We've got one house on our side. What if we invade an empire? Yeah, I'm sure that'll be enough troops. Well, as long as we keep having fights where we can turn back time and can literally go through these fights with no casualties whatsoever, even though battalions get quote-unquote exhausted and need to be quote-unquote replenished, implying that they are fucking dying. Uh, like, it, it feels like this plan should not work. You know? It feels like it shouldn't ding-dang work. Who dare? Even though it's ruins in some strange way, this monastery never truly changes, does it? I studied at the officer's academy when I was young. Those memories come rushing back whenever I return. Ah, <sighs> I'll be playable, but I won't have any supports with you, okay? What are you doing here at this hour, anyway? Oh, will he be playable, or will he just be kind of there? Like, uh, fucking what's-her-name in Golden Deer. Yeah, I bet that's what he's like. He even had the mirrored... Dang it, why aren't they friggin' playable? Uh, couldn't sleep. You know, normal problems. You know, like that Tim friend actually does have. It's the same for me. Uh, perhaps, perhaps you'll allow me to join you in doing whatever the fuck it is you're doing. Much appreciated. Are we praying? Are we just kind of chilling? I'm down for either. It's, I just kind of invited myself along without asking what I was inviting myself to. Dot, dot, dot. I keep recalling my eldest son. He was quite gifted. In fact, he was appointed a knight at the age of 15. I still vividly remember the day he was granted a sword from his majesty. Uh, it's Glenn, right? I remember. Dead. He was killed nine years ago in Dusker. All that returned of him that day were his sword and his armor. After it happened, I said something horrible to Felix. He's hated me ever since, and I don't blame him. No matter how much you grieve, the dead will never return. No magic in the world can bring them back. That's why their memory clings to the living like a curse. Jesus Christ. Fargus is full of bummers, isn't it? The more they were loved, the tighter their hold, and the more suffering they cause. I fear I am not a strong enough man to scold his highness for his foolishness. Uh, I know how you feel. He is foolish. Since this war began... We've seen countless generals, soldiers, and citizens die. It never gets any easier. <sighs> Professor, I entrust the young prince and the future of Fargus to you. Uh, this is unexpected. I don't know if... I'm, I'm already kind of the figurehead of Saros right now. I suppose that was a dramatic way of putting it. My apologies. You should know that I have no intention of insisting that you take back Ferdiad. Take back Ferdiad. All I ask is that you continue to rein in Dimitri's manic desire for revenge. <sighs> I can only hope that it fucking goes away when he kills Edelgard. Now then, we've received House Regan's consent. All that's left is for us to depart. If we make it through Gloucester territory and across the Bri Great Bridge of Myrden, we'll be in Empire territory. You're not afraid, are you? Uh, a little. There's a lot of them, and we have just your troops. Ha! <laughs> no need to worry. Don't you underestimate the power of my soldiers. I've, you may have some of them equipped as a battalion to some of you. They're pretty cool. I'm glad you were the one to lead. You were the one to lead the Blue Lion House, Professor. Okay. I mean that. What? What the fuck was that? Why was he glad that it was me specifically? Just because I'm a good tactician? I mean, that's fair. I am. Uh, yeah, let's have a hymn recital. Yeah, we're, I gotta do the ding ding end of the episode. Just want to get to the fucking free day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the singing practice. At least Mercedes gets more faith. It's fine. It's not even important. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, free day. Free day. Yeah. All right. Next time on Tim Friend. Whoa, shit. Uh, accepted the the battle gear of the King of Lines from Rodrigue and obtained the certification for the Great Lord class. Hell yes. Oh my god! That's a lot. He looks like a fucking space marine from Warhammer. Oh boy, that's... Like, I'm kind of down. But it's also just... Like, he's got two different colors of plate mail on over each other. <laughs> that's a lot. This will do. But now he's a great lord, and that's pretty fucking sweet. He's achieved his final evolution. He's now a Charizard. All right. 
I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will catch you next time on the Timley Friend. Bye, everybubbies. Wah 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 w